Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to play around with some audio and video controls uh, for HTML5. So I've got a blank page set up, as you can see, with a headline 1. Let's look at my editor here. There we go. So HTML5, doc type definition, meta character encoding. I've got a little bit of style just for color, nothing fancy. And I've simply got a headline 1, so let's get started here. So with HTML5, there is an audio tag, and you've got a couple ways you can use this. You can have an audio tag and you can put a source attribute right inside of that if you're going to refer to one particular file. However, um, audio file formats get spotty support from different browsers. So instead of putting my source attribute inside of my audio tag, I'm going to do an opening and closing audio tag. And in between my opening and closing audio tag, I'm going to have a source tag with a source attribute. And my first source attribute is going to be take the lead.mp3. Okay, so that's simply, it's a guitar riff. It's really kind of cool though. Um, I got it from the site called Incompetech. Let me show you that site real fast. I think I still have it up. Here we go. So it's Incompetech.com and they got a section of royalty free music, different kinds of background music, different styles that are, so I'm using take the lead here. I downloaded it as an mp3 file and then I used an audio conversion program in order to convert it over to an OGG format. So I've got two formats of the same track. Let me go ahead and copy this. So I've got the mp3 format and the OGG format. And the reason I'm using two different audio formats here is because some aren't one is supported by some browsers, the other one is supported by the other browsers. For instance, MP3 is supported by Chrome, Safari, and IE9, but it's not supported by Firefox and Opera. So, Firefox and Opera support the OGG format. So, what's going to happen is the browsers will go through this list of files until it finds the one that it can deal with and then it'll take care of that. So, there's the basic audio. To play. Now, I'm going to add an attribute here called autoplay, which I'm not a big fan of, but let's test it out anyway. So now I've got this autoplay attribute inside my audio tag. So I've got this saved. Jump back over to my browser. Where is my browser? There it is, all the way down there. Back over here, refresh. Okay, and my music is playing. So let me jump back over to my editor now. Take autoplay out, save, browser, refresh. Now it's not autoplaying, but I need to be able to control it. So I'm going to add the controls attribute. There we go. Oops, wrong button. Close that. Save, refresh. So now I've got some controls here, and I can hit the play button. I can see the countdown timer, and I can even control mute. Okay. Oh, by the way, these controls are going to look a little different depending on the browser in question. So, got that taken care of. What else can you do? Well, you can also loop the music if you want to. And let me put autoplay back in. Refresh. Excellent. And I can advance to different parts. There we go. So that's a little bit about the audio control. Now, video works very, very similar. Okay, so I'm going to do an opening and closing video tag. And in between those, I'm going to have a source attribute with a source, I'm sorry, source tag with a source attribute. And let's see, I've got several video formats here. HTML Basics is a video tutorial I made. And normally when I make a tutorial or a video for YouTube, it's in an MP4 format. So I've got that one. But for today, I've also got an OGV video format and a WebM video format. So a few different video formats. Basic same concept. Um, MP4 uh, works for Chrome, Safari, and, I and IE9, but it doesn't work for Firefox and Opera. OGV is supported by Firefox and Opera. Now the WebM format, that's the one that you know that YouTube is starting to experiment a little bit more with. And WebM is also supported by Chrome and Opera, so but not Firefox. So once again, I'm using different video formats here. Same reason I used audio formats, so that way all the top browsers get something that they like. And here we go. So we've got that taken care of. But I also want to put in some other stuff. So I'm going to go to my video tag, 
and I'm going to put in width equals 500 for 500 pixels wide, and I'll put in height equals 280. That's a pretty good HD resolution there, and give me some controls. We've seen those before. I'm going to go ahead and save those, jump back over to the browser, refresh. Oops, got that music auto playing, but otherwise, here's my video, and I've got the controls. Hey, this is Ralph, and and I can play that video. So let me see what else we can do. In addition to putting in some controls, you can also do a, um, a preload. There we go. So I can put a preload attribute inside of my opening video tag. You won't notice much of a difference here. Oh, by the way, let me go take that autoplay out so that doesn't keep kicking on. Take out the autoplay. There we go. So video, save, back to the browser refresh and basically this will be better over over uh, the internet but preload will start downloading the video as soon as the page loads up and it doesn't have to wait for the person to literally hit the play button so that's pretty cool now you'll notice too this video is just putting in the opening frame of the shot well there's another attribute we can put inside of this opening video tag I can put in poster equals and then the name of some image image file I've got poster.png okay uh, already saved to my computer so the poster attribute will display a thumbnail image for your video so let me minimize oops let me jump back over to my browser refresh there we go so now I've got a thumbnail for that particular video so those are really slick so we've got um, we've got the audio tag and we've got the video tag and of course this is getting us away from those olden days when we had to use embed tags or even object tags so this is the new latest and greatest way to get audio and video into your page um, no need to use flash you can use some relatively popular audio and video file formats you might have to use a couple in the short term until support gets really wide across all browsers but they're really easy to use